You always have to be open to taking a different approach, and that's really at the heart of innovation. If we go back to the history of the South Dakota Technology and Business Center, we were a true startup incubator. We had a 45,000 square foot facility in which we leased office space to startups. We are really shifting away from the focus on physical space to that community that is driving innovation through programming, networking, and resources. We really wanted to move away from the sense that Zeal is just this place to Startup Sioux Falls is a concept, it's an idea, it's programming, it's connection, it's entrepreneurship in an, an evolved way that doesn't require walls. This evolution of the brand is really important to fit with the times, to really say what we do and what do we do? We help startup businesses, startup organizations to be successful in Sioux Falls. To improve access to our team and our resources, we're about to embark on a relocation. We intend to write our next chapter in the heart of downtown Sioux Falls. Startup ideas are shared in coffee shops, in breweries, uh, in environments like our downtown offers. The founders are already downtown and we're just trying to meet them where they're at. The move to downtown is a natural transition. We know that the bulk of entrepreneurs, creative thinkers, and just the vibe and feel, the vibrancy of downtown, that makes a whole lot of sense for us. When you think of cities and communities that have a strong entrepreneurial ecosystem, it's downtown. You know, that happens downtown. That's the heartbeat of a city. We have such great alignment, such a strong board, such a tremendous group of leaders as part of the Startup Sioux Falls team, and an amazing, supportive, and desiring entrepreneurial community that the time is right for this evolution. This move is going to mark our transformation from an incubation facility to a true ecosystem organization. I think everybody who starts a business has moments of doubt. I had to uh, take out a significant loan against my home. We had a whiteboard on the wall and we had the date in which we would run out of money. Even though I'm really driven and I'm really motivated to get this done, there are days where you do not feel like you can possibly accomplish it. Entrepreneurship is overwhelming and we make it easier. Startups Who Falls is an organization that empowers founders. We offer founders the resources and the tools they need to grow and launch their ventures. When you have the seed of an idea, what do you do next? To me, Startup Sioux Falls is the place the entrepreneur should go to get resources. Or that starting point for a founder that is looking to start a business. One of the most important things you can have is a network of people you trust and that open and honest communication with them. Startup Sioux Falls is creating a community uh, around like-minded, business-minded entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs need a place to, to be vulnerable, a safe place to come and talk about what's going on in your business or your life. And where Startup Sioux Falls can really feel a gap is it can give you a, an ecosystem, a community, a group of people, and an opportunity to connect. So it's one thing to form the community, then it's to say, what does this community need to be successful? What resources do they need? Is it access to capital? Is it access to people? What's cool about Sioux Falls is that there's a real spirit of service. If you've made it in Sioux Falls, you are expected to share that knowledge and help bring up the next generation of entrepreneur. We have a really deep bench of industry experts that are willing to give their time to those that are in our network in the form of the co-starters program, they can actually walk you through an entire uh, set of exercises to think about building your business, growing your business, getting the right resources for your business. We have several different types of social events, things like the One Million Cups, the Innovation Expo, Hey Sioux Falls. Startup Sioux Falls offers some physical amenities, which would be co-working space, meeting space. I was trying to work from home, and that wasn't really working because I couldn't have enough clarity there. It's actually been amazing to exist in that space and to have those resources and all of those people around. 
We recognize entrepreneurship is hard. And we also recognize where the resources are in the community and we know how we can put people in touch with the right resources, we can get the mentors, we can create programming to help them be a successful business. We really are the epicenter for entrepreneurship in the community. This community is built on entrepreneurial ventures. Whether it's a Sioux Steel or a Raven Industries or DocuTap or Midconic Communication, we don't really think about the fact that some person at some point had an idea and said, hey, I'm gonna start a business. You, you find a lot of people who are working in existing corporate jobs, they see gaps and opportunities, but there isn't necessarily an opportunity to innovate within those environments. So they're saying to themselves, I think I can make this better. I can create this thing better. And then they do it. They spin out or they start to do it on nights and weekends and they hustle. I've seen this over and over and over again. We believe that acting in on an idea has the ability to change the world, and therefore we want to give as many resources, connections, opportunities as we can to those founders. You never know when that next big business is going to bubble up in your community. The greatest entrepreneurial innovations over the last 20 years wouldn't have happened if that particular entrepreneur wasn't bold in their thinking and wasn't able to stand up and say, you know what, this isn't right and I'm going to disrupt the industry and make it better. We need entrepreneurs to take risks and start businesses to keep our community and our economy really going strong. That's the type of mindset that we absolutely need to see as we move forward.